Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous video we understood what do you mean by SAP ABAP new syntax or what is SAP ABAP 7.4 slash 7.5. Then we covered what are the advantages and disadvantages of new syntax. Now we will move on to our first topic as a part of new syntax and our new topic is inline data declaration. Now what is this inline data declaration? It is a new way of data declaration. Now in the new syntaxes, whatever the new way of data declaration is there, it is called as inline data declaration. Firstly, we will understand the old way of data declaration. Then we will compare so that we can understand very easily. What is in the old way of data declaration? Firstly, you need to declare. Suppose if I want to use a variable, if I want to use a internal table, if I want to use a work area, if I want to use a structure type, firstly, I need to declare. After that only I can use in the program. That is your old way of data declaration. Suppose if I will go for the example, suppose this is the program. Suppose I declared a internal table which is referring to this particular structure type. So firstly, I need to declare this structure type. Then after that only I can use this, I can use this structure type into the program. Suppose if I am not declaring this particular structure type and if I am using while declaring the internal table, system will simply simply give me the error that you need to declare this particular structure, particular structure type. So in case of old way of data declaration, whenever you want to use, you need to firstly declare. Suppose if I am not declaring this internal table and I am using in this particular select query, system will simply simply throw me the syntax error that you need to declare this internal table. So in old way of data declaration, Whenever you want to use, you need to firstly declare those things. Declare, we need to declare variable, we need to declare types, we need to declare internal table, work area, whatever we are using in the program. That old way of declaration is called as explicit or external data declaration. Why we are saying explicit or external data declaration? Because you need to explicitly, you need to firstly explicitly declare all those things. Then after that only you can use in the program. Now in the new way of data declaration, there is no need to declare the object separately. There is no need to declare the variables, internal table, work area, structure type separately. There is no separate step to declare all those things. We can declare whenever we want to use them. So whenever we want to use, we can declare in the, we can declare at the same place itself. Just see that's why it is saying in line data declaration. In the line itself, you will declare and you will use also. So whenever we want to use them, at that time itself, we can declare. And whenever we will go for inline data declaration, the keyword is data, data. So we will use the keyword data for the inline data declaration. Now in this whole new syntaxes of the series, in this series of new syntaxes, we will compare old and new both. That's why we will be able to understand. So I will start with a very, very basic program. We will go for the sum of two numbers. We will go for firstly understanding of old syntax. 
then we will simply simply compare it to new syntax. So what I will do, I will go for a program. I will create a program. You all know the first letter should be Z or Y. Suppose I am saying Z P R G one. Suppose I am saying sum of two numbers. I'll say sum of two numbers. Or I'll say Z Z P R G one new syntax. So we can understand that we are going for new syntaxes. I will go for create. Suppose I will give that title demo on new syntaxes. I will choose that type as executable program. I will save this as a local object. Now we will go for the sum of two numbers. Suppose simply. I am writing, suppose LV underscore input one is equal to 10. LV underscore input two is equal to 20. I am writing LV underscore output is equal to LV underscore input one plus LV underscore input two. And I am simply printing this variable using right statement. Now I am using LV input one, LV input two, LV output, but I have not declared this variable explicitly. I am simply, simply using. So if I will check the syntax system will simply give me the error. This is unknown. This is unknown. This is unknown. So what we are doing in old way of data declaration, we need to explicitly, we need to externally declare these variables. So how I will declare, I will go for data. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore input one, suppose length is two, suppose type is N. I will do control D to duplicate a line. Suppose this is your input to suppose I am declaring LV underscore output. Now. now I declare these three variables explicit. I will check the syntax and now I will activate. So this is your old way of declaration. That's why it is called as external or explicit data declaration. Whenever you are using you need to firstly declare. Now, when SAP come up with the version 7.4 and after that, SAP is saying no. Now, SAP introduced new approach to the programming. And in case of inline data declaration, there is no need to explicitly declare. So I will not declare this. I will not go for explicit data declaration. Whenever I want to use at that time itself, I will declare. So how I will declare, you all know just now I covered whenever you want to go for inline data declaration. What is the keyword? Data. So I will simply write data. So I declared in the same line itself whenever I am using. That's why it is called as in line declaration in the line itself you are declaring and you are using suppose I want to go for this so I will write data done now for the third so I will simply write data now I will declare these three variables and I am using now I will check the syntax and now I will activate this program. So this is your new way of data declaration and it is called as inline data declaration. When we cover the advantages of new syntax at that time, I told you that this is more efficient and convenient way to write the code as we can write the code in less number of lines. 
previously you have these many lines of code these many lines of code and just think about a program in which you need to declare so many variable internal table work areas then you are writing so much code now there is no need of extra step of declaring the variable internal table work area whenever you are using you can declare them so what is the summary of this particular video in this video we started with inline data declaration what do you mean by inline data declaration it is a new way of declaration in the old way of data declaration whenever you want to use the objects you need to firstly declare suppose if i want to use a structure type i need to declare first if i want to use a variable i need to declare first if i want to use a internal table i need to declare first but in case of new way of data declaration there is no need to declare the objects separately whenever you want to use you can declare at that point of time in the same line you can use also you can declare also and the keyword data is used for inline data declaration then we took the simple example firstly i showed you how we are doing the sum of two numbers by using the old way of data declaration you need to explicitly declare now after that we covered the new way of data declaration in the line itself we are declaring through data and we simply printed the output now in the next videos we will simply explore all these things so that's it in this video thank you